What's going on guys? I'm going to start doing a little species exposed if you will uh, talking about all the corals and fish and, and, and uh, critters I have in my tanks. I think it's very important uh, if you're housing an animal you know everything you can about it. Today we're going to start with the yellow uh, toadstool. Uh, this is a SPS coral and as the name suggests toadstool this is where they derive from. Uh, the, the collecting process of these guys is quite complicated uh, and every specimen is a wild collected specimen. Uh, the, the actual procedures involves the collectors having to follow this certain species of toad around uh, for a prolonged period of time waiting for it to stool. So, hence the name toadstool. But what happens is in the toadstool a little fungi starts growing and um, the, the, the little little mushrooms grow on there and this is where you get the toadstool. So the, the stool is basically brought back and, and you can propagate the, the, the mushrooms off of the toadstool. So kind of a complicated uh, propagation process but worth it if you can get a hold of uh, some actual toadstool. It's, it's worth the process, it's worth the wait. If you are lucky enough to uh, run into a collector who has actually came upon some toadstool uh, and, and they're saying that you could take this toadstool and propagate some some mushrooms off of it, some leather corals. Just be very careful that it's good, quality, fresh toadstool. Um, a lot of people will try to give you some some older toadstool that's not it's all the fungi's out of it already. So just make sure you get the good stuff. A few other facts about the toadstool is they require uh, very high amounts of calcium to build their to build their uh, their body mass. This is the one of the main things they use to build. So if your calcium levels aren't right, your toadstool is not going to grow. Uh, I would really, really get into to knowing your 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 dosing calcium and your your you know everything else before you even attempt getting one of these guys. Like I said, uh, very difficult uh, to 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 keep alive. You'll notice these little polypy extensions. Uh, really neat what they do with these and they actually if you guys know what a chameleon is the little little lizards with the eyes that go in different directions these little polyps kind of do the same thing uh, that the chameleon does with its tongue and it will shoot its polyp out and kind of catch uh, free floating particles or uh, you know little critters that are swimming around that it can catch so very interesting coral uh, a, a, a really neat thing about this is it kind of it kind of resembles like a mustache, and I like that. Pretty much it, man. Freaking toadstool exposed. If you guys got some uh, neat info, some good info that I missed, I left out on the leather toadstool, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. As always, rate, subscribe, like.